All right, fellas. Me doing a little multi-species fishing tonight. I got a bunch of stuff to throw. I can tell you my plan was to not throw a frog. Well, I may have to give up on that plan. This looks too good. I just spooked multiple things. I'll just throw a frog right here. Just to see if there's anything shallow. All right. So, one of my favorite things to throw in the summer is a big old 10 inch worm. There's one. A little guy right on the edge of the, uh, the grass mat. Yeah, so, guys, 10 inch worm. This is probably a 10 inch fish. There you go. Now I've got this thing pegged with a little quarter ounce tungsten. This is from Wu Tungsten. Shout out to Wu Tungsten. They're awesome. Maybe I should just be pitching right into these grass mats. Maybe that's where these fish are. Let's, let's see here. Let's uh, pitch one out right in the middle of this thing here. Let's try one right over here. Oh, I just missed one. I just got cranked right there on the edge of the grass mat. Maybe that's where these fish are. Well, maybe that's what this video needs to be about. Throwing a big old 10 inch worm, pitching it on the edge of grass. Let's see if we can get him to bite again. Oh, took it, took off with it. Might be a smaller fish. Oh, maybe it's a bluegill. There we go. There we go. Another tiny little fish. Again, right on the edge of this weed mat and you do not need, look at this, you do not need little worms for little fish. Well, let's work our way around the lake. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can catch some more. We don't need to stand in one spot all day. Let's uh, pitch it over here. Oh, do you see this little guy? What's going on, bud? What are you doing? You know what I think that turtle's doing? I think he might be, or she might be laying some eggs. All right. There's a bite, 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 bite. There we go. Man, where are the big fish in this lake? Seriously, lately, Everything I've been catching out of this lake has been pretty solid and stout, and here I am throwing the biggest bait possible, and I got the littlest fish possible. I just tangled the crap out of this line. Jeez Louise, oh man. What the heck is going on here? This is really bad. Oh, wait, there we go. I think we're golden. So what am I using? This is a 7.3, medium heavy, and I've got straight braid on here. Again, I'm a big fan of straight braid. Use it all the time. And I've got a loose speed spool, one of the cheaper ones, the LFS's. You can get these on Amazon for, I think like 80 bucks. They're honestly a really good deal for the price. I've got a big old three -aught. Uh I think it's just a Bass Pro Shops round bend, offset round bend hook, and a 10 inch Berkeley Power Worm. Like I said earlier, I got a little Wu Tungsten, quarter ounce weight on here. It's pegged. And this color, by the way, is June Bug, which is, you know, a classic. Nope. Someone left the pruning shears. I 
Finally, there we go. There's some actual size. First fish with some decent size. Again, here's it. There's that hook. June bug color. Fat fish. Oh my gosh, it looks like pre spawn almost. Really? I mean, again, this is one of my favorite summer baits. Again, it's super easy. Super easy to fish. Again, I am just flipping, really pitching this right on the edge of these weeds. And just letting it sit there. Maybe pumping it once or twice. And these fish are just hitting it right away. I could be throwing the frog. But sometimes you need to switch it up. Now what's great about a rig like this is you can really vary it up. I could be throwing this out deep on these hot days. Looking for those fish that are moved out of the shallows. I can also be throwing it like I am now. Up shallow at night or in the evenings or morning. Looking for that that shallow bite. These are some thick mats, guys. And this thicker stuff, st thicker stuff, I think we're gonna throw a frog. That is not a fish. I lost him. I thought I had him. I thought he was just small. The whole time I was reeling in, I thought I was about to show you a fish. Oh gosh, there's a big fish over there. He waked after and then didn't go. Oh my goodness. What the hell a copter was that? I seriously don't understand. What is going on? Holy cow, my back is just getting destroyed right now by the mosquitoes. Malaria, here I come. West Nile, East Nile, all the Niles. Oh God. Oh my gosh. He had it. He had it. Oh, that was stupid of me. Oh, yes. There's the big fish I was hoping for. Well, guys, there's my uh, two and a half, three pounder for the day. Man, that's a stocky fish. Jeez Louise. Very, very healthy. All right, that's what I was looking for. All right, guys, before it gets too dark, this was just a really quick video. Again, to give you another tip for the summer using some of my favorite baits. And today's bait of choice is a good 10 inch ribbon tail worm either cast it out deep, do a slow hop and retrieve, or, like we're do doing tonight, throwing it into the weeds, pitching it in, in there on the weed edges, and just letting these fish take it. And it's a lot of fun. Let's start heading back to the bag. We got five fish in about 45 minutes or so. And that's, it's not bad. A couple dinks but it's still a lot of fun. Oh, dang it. That might've been a bluegill. Nope, oh, it's a bass. You seriously just spit my worm. Okay, well, there's fish number six. Wow, they are mean. What a little guy. All right, well, we got our worm back. What is going on here? Can you guys see this? I don't even understand what just happened. They literally don't, don't even know how this is possible. Unless this cat somehow went through the eyelid. Oh, of course, I just dropped my tungsten. 
Man, I'm already losing tungsten. Okay, well, that was really dumb. And honestly, you know what? I think I lost the hook too. Because I'm pretty sure I set that down. Somehow I just lost a hook and tungsten. That's like a double whammy. Jeez. Oh my gosh.